Erica Reyes joins us from her parents' home in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And Erica, we've been talking about people taking advantage of folks during this crisis, um, whether it's through people who prey on people looking for love, or in your case, um, individuals who have stimulus checks and hope to use this as a lifeline as a result of being unemployed. So you spent two months calling and emailing, trying to figure out where your check was. Um, when you finally received a phone call, what did they tell you? The phone call was, it says, hello, uh, Erica Reyes. Uh, I'm with the Social Security um, Administration. We are returning your call. That's, that's why I was like, mm. awesome. You know, they're like, we're returning your call yeah. to, you know, help you with all your issues. We, we know you haven't received your stimulus. We know you haven't received like any help. And mm. this is why. Let me understand what happened here because you ended up sending them $8,000. So you go from waiting on your check to sending $8,000. How did they convince you to send them that money? They continued to go on about, this is why we haven't received your help. My quote unquote social security number had been um, under investigation due to my number being used in San Antonio, Texas, I believe it was. Yes, yeah, San Antonio, Texas mm -hmm. to buy property that was involved in money laundering and drug trafficking. They started saying, like, because I'm under investigation, that this is my opportunity to work with them, you know, to say to cover myself because now I was the only person in this investigation. They say the next step, because it's money laundering, to safeguard my money, safeguard, safeguard. They kept constantly using this word safeguard. And now I'm on a federally recorded line. I am not allowed to hang up. Mm -hmm this entire time on this on the phone with this person. How did you end up sending them the money? Did you wire the money to that individual? No, it gets it gets pretty bad and it's pretty embarrassing. Oh. Um, I um, took out the cash. I put it in a package. Then I, you know, mailed it FedEx to this location, which I found out later was a Walgreens in Kentucky, I believe. And it was like a pickup right. drop off thing. And they're like, we have an office right. right there. You know, we're gonna have someone pick it up. Then they went into the gift card version of, they're saying now that we've protected your bank account, we need you to cover your credit cards. You sent, Erica, you sent cash, which is not traceable. You sent the gift cards, which I guess they got. In the end, um, you've not gotten your money back. You won't be able to get your money back, correct? No, they are not confident at all. It's an awful time. You were vulnerable and someone saw an opening and they took advantage of that. <sighs> Thank you so much, Erica, for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I, I appreciate your time Thank and you. consideration. Of course.